What's up guys? Today's video I'm gonna show you how to replace your air cabin filter on a 2016 Chevy Cruze. This is the same one. Uh, they changed the body a little bit, so 16 to 20 is the same. Uh, first you're gonna come on the passenger side, you gotta remove this panel, open the glove box. Here, remove the side panel right there. It has just like the pushing clips. See? Then you got a seven millimeter uh, bolt. There's four of them. One, two, three, and four. Then when the glove box comes out and filters behind it. So let me go get the socket and I'll remove it right now. Seven millimeter in action. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. This one you might have to get extension or simply oh, let me do it. Alright. Well uh, don't lose these screws because it's gonna be rattling and making noises which you don't want it to do. Here you go, these four screws are out. It doesn't seem like there's anything else, there should be only clips. There's only clips, you just gotta, once you remove those four seven millimeter bolts, or then you gotta gently pull it, you know, evenly. Don't try not to pull it by the door, try to pull it right here, you know, from this side first. And then you pull it. Oh yeah, I know, I forgot. This piece gotta come out first as well. This piece comes out, here's your fuse box. And then this little corner piece gotta come out, there you go. Now you can see we got it loose on this side, right? So you start from here, but you gotta remove this panel, which just pops in with clips. It just pops in. I'll show you right there. See? There's a bunch of those clips. All the way. It goes in towards forwards. See right there? It goes like this, and then clips in right here. Once you get those removed, this plastic it comes out. This one comes out. Unless there's more bolts. But I don't see any bolts in here. Nope, no bolts in here. So this piece gotta come off somehow. Probably a clip. A clip. There's nothing holding it. It's pretty loose. See one clip is right there. You remove this plastic. And I got this one gently removed, but it's a one piece, you know. They really want you to take the other plastic, this plastic on the driver's side as well, and then remove this whole thing, but you don't need to. All you gotta do, just move this out of the way gently. And then, as you can see, there's like a lip to the glove box is in it, and then you just pull it, and the glove box should come out. If there's nothing else holding it. Almost forgot, there's one more bolt right there. Right there. So don't be pulling it hard. Clip goes right there. So that's why you gotta pry this open just gently. And the one last thing you gotta do, there's a screw right here, seven millimeter as well. All right, once you remove this last screw, which is in the middle right here, the glove box simply comes out. All right, here we go. And here is your air cabin filter. Our car is 35,000 miles. It's supposed to replace every 30 to 35,000. I guess we'll find out in a minute what does it look like. Filter is gray, so it might be hard to see if it's dirty or not, but let's see. Alright. I'm gonna get a little pick. Glove box is down, I'm gonna get a little pick, because it's hard to get it with your finger. And pull the filter out. This filter don't look so bad. Like I said, the car is pretty new, there's some dirt in it. But it could fly for another. 
maybe 30,000 miles. Usually at 60,000, they're pretty filthy. This is actually a good filter, like a carbon filter. You know, this is the old one. I'll show you the new one, but there won't be much difference. Other than it's a little skinnier. Because it's aftermarket, not OEM. This panel is in. Nice, check, make sure it's all lined up equally. Now the last thing, you open the glove box. And this panel, first you gotta go in with the edge like that, right there. See, right like this, under the rubber. Here. And then you simply pop it in. Perfect.